In 2017, when Ed was diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease, I felt like I was drowning. Then the River East newspaper came and there was an article in the paper about a new support group being formed by the Alzheimer's Association and they'd be at the Hebron Fair the following weekend. There was my lifeline. I went to the fair and I met Pam Atwood for the first time. She's a leader in the field and she lives right here in town and she was volunteering as a facilitator for this new support group. They'd be meeting every month at the log cabin on Main Street and she strongly encouraged me to go. Sharing my feelings in a group of strangers was well outside my comfort zone, but so was Alzheimer's. So I went, and six years later, I'm still going to these meetings. We came together as strangers and we became a family. We shared uh, what we feared, what we needed to face, our guilt, our grief, our successes, our failures. Some of us were deer in the headlights, new to this diagnosis, some had been caregivers for years and came to share what they had learned and encourage the new ones. Um, without this group, I think I would not have had the strength and the confidence to be the caregiver that I was for Ed. Um, the other thing that they did was a second monthly meeting, which was just a social group that we could bring our loved one to. It was a time for fellowship and fun in a caring, structured environment with no judgment. Pam organized these activities and the Alzheimer's Association funded them. We went to museums, restaurants, movies, we had art classes. It was a time when we could socialize with our new friends and create memories that we otherwise would not have had. Caregiving 24-7 can be a very isolating and lonely time. This was one day a month when we could get out and be with our friends, with our loved ones, and create some new wonderful memories that I treasure. When I walk on October 28th for the Alzheimer's Association, it will be an appreciation for all that they've done for my family and other families like ours. Thank you.